Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I know this is not a drone, but there are drones in this review. This is the Hemiway Cruiser. It is a bike that is a fat bike for off-road, for the beach, for the sand, for the snow, for the pavement. It is amazing. It is my first electric bike, but it's not my first bike. Let me just squeeze this in. You see, I am a cyclist. Yes, that's why I'm dressed in this goofy gear because I am a cyclist. I ride a bike every day. This is my road fast bike and I do have a fat bike. And this would be my fat bike. You've seen it in other videos. If you're on my channel, I usually have drones chasing me in the wintertime riding this thing or going through trails. It's really cool. This is a fat bike as well and it's electric. Now, right now this bike is outfitted with fenders. And if you take the fenders off, it looks more like a fat bike like I just showed you. And let me just show you a picture of it with the fenders off. So this is the manual and in the manual it shows you you can take the fenders off and it looks pretty wild. Now as a cyclist after riding this electric bike my opinion of electric bikes has significantly changed. I think electric bikes are the greatest thing given to man that's for sure. There's only one person on this planet who loves this bike more than me and that's my wife because I have given this bike to her because she now rides a bike. She hasn't ridden a bike in 20 years but as soon as she rode this one she rides it daily now. So let me show you some footage of people trying this bike out for the very first time. Time. Check this out. All right, really quick, we have my daughter-in-law, Laura, here. It's going to take the electric bike for a ride for the very first time. So I'm going to explain everything to her and we'll get going. Now watch Laura's expression. This is the expression you're going to see from everyone. Woo. That happens because the electronic pedal assist kicks in and it's like somebody pushing you from the rear. It's a little bit unexpected. But after you ride once, then it's so normal. Very cool. All right. All right. Felt like a motorcycle. <laughs> Laura kept on driving the bike over and over. She loved it. Next, my wife Nikki wanted to give it a try, but she hadn't driven a bike in 20 years, so this is kind of funny. First, you have to be able to get on it. I've got the seat <laughs> raised to my... Go through the hole. That's what I was trying to do, oh, yeah. but... <laughs> <laughs> you better not put this on YouTube. This is my wife getting on the electric bike. Holy! I've got the seat geez. adjusted to my height. Go, Nikki. All right, give it a shot. Go, Nikki. There you go. <laughs> You're like a little kid on there. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Hey, so what did you think? Awesome. You, you love it? Love it. <laughs> okay. It's my bike. Your bike. You can keep it. <laughs> it's kind of cool out here, but we have Anna over here. My daughter-in-law, Anna. And over here, we have my son, Corey. Going to try out the bike. Okay. So just pedal. You'll see the assistance will kick in. Oh. Pretty fast. Yeah. So it's like someone's gonna push you from the rear when you start pedaling. <gasps> I'm excited. So okay. and you got your brakes, okay. so you're good. Ah! <laughs> you see what I mean? That's awesome. Wee Definitely should not be doing this without a helmet. <laughs> Now, if you've never driven an electric bike before, you're in the same camp as everybody in the video you just saw, as well as myself. We didn't know what to expect with an electric bike. So let me try to explain it to you really quickly how it all works. So first off, the bike is basically just a bike with an electric motor, but you can ride it without the assistance of the electric motor. So basically you have three modes. Over here on the right, you have seven speeds. You have a Shimano gearing system. You push the lower button, the speeds increase, and you press the upper button, the speeds decrease, just like on a normal bike. And then you have your front brake and your back brake and a little bell over here to get people off the trail. So I'm going to call that mode one. And when we get into mode two, this is where we get into the electrical assistance. Think of the assistance as when you were a kid and your friends would stand in the back and push you right here as you would pedal. That's all the assistance is. You have five levels of assistance. You pick any gear you want from one to seven, normal speed bike, you know, seven speed bike, and then you can select the level of assistance. So in other words, if you're riding and you're finding a little bit of straining on your leg, you could increase the assistance as if someone's pushing you from the back and you can still pedal. You're still gonna get a bit of a workout, but you know, you can make it very relaxing and go a much farther distance, uphill, downhill, over all sorts of terrain than you would had you just pedaled with no assistance. So that's what I call mode two. And mode three is kind of like an electric motorcycle. You have a little throttle, like a twist throttle right here on the handlebars. So you don't have to do anything. You just turn that and you will go as fast as you want. It's that awesome. And as you saw in the previous video, everybody learned how to ride this bike in a matter of seconds. It was so simple for them. And if you get this bike, 
it will be exactly the same. Now I did mention that my wife really loves this bike. After she took it for that first ride with everybody else to try it out, she wanted to ride it again. So on the following day, we went for a 10 kilometer ride. And uh, well, here's some video from that. Check it out. All right, we're all set to go. Uh, unfortunately, since this is all new for my wife, I don't have a helmet for her other than my skateboard helmet, which she's gladly accepted to wear. So here you go, hun. Try that on, see how it fits. I'm one of the cool kids now. Yeah, check out that helmet. It's like, there's no way anything's happening with that noggin. All right, so, so far we've gone out about uh, almost four kilometers. No issues so far. Great. I haven't <laughs> ridden a bike in years and I love it. So uh, you said you went past speed number one? Yeah, um, I've been on two or three. Right. And up to as high as five on the... On the gear. Oh, uh, so when you say two or three on the pedal assist over there? Yeah. Oh, nice. Had okay. to catch up with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's, we're halfway home. Here we go. Hey, we're going to try a bit of off-roading. My bike is not designed for off-roading because it's a race bike, but uh, here we go. I'm coming down. Ah! Going down the hill, let's see. <laughs> Come on down. See if you can make it up. Ugh. See if you can see if you can make it up the other side, because I can't. I'm stuck down here. Go right to the top. Right to the top. There we go. Now wait for me. I'm stuck back here. <laughs> My bike up. This is not designed for driving off-road. Yeah, so see that's the bonus with that. Yeah. You had no problem going on the grass or up the hill? No. So Easy as pie, just my nerves. Just your nerves, all right. The range on this baby is supposed to be up to something like 60 miles range, you know, almost like 100 kilometers. I took it out for a range test, only doing 10 kilometers, six miles, and the voltage, or I should say the amount of remaining uh, power in the battery that's shown on my display never changed. So here, I'll show you that really quick. Watch this. All right, I'm going to take this out for a cruise. I haven't gone for a long cruise with this yet. My wife has driven it quite a bit, but I haven't taken it. I've charged up the battery fully about uh, five days ago. It's been sitting in the garage in the cold. Hopefully it's still a full charge. We're going to check that out. All right, let's hit the power button down here. See if the power remained sitting in the cold and uh, up here it shows a full battery. So we should be good. Now, since my wife's been driving this, the seat's pretty low because uh, she has little legs. The seat on this is really simple to adjust. Just pull this little lever out and lift it on up. And I think that's probably my height here. Next thing I want to do is install a little GPS device on here. This does have a distance uh, odometer on it and it does tell you the speed, but I think it's off a little bit. So I'm going to put my own on just to check it out. So here we have the GPS unit I'm going to stick on. It's going to focus on it now. If I put it in front of my face, uh, this is just a tiny little thing for bikers and it straps onto the handlebars. And finally, the last thing to do is put a mount on the handlebars for an Insta360 X3. This is going to capture video from the front and the back. Well, 360 all around. Everything is set and you probably can't see it on our GPS, but this one here is reading 000. It's all set to go. That's going to tell me the speed and the distance as well as this one, and I'll match them up at the end. So I'm all set to go. Put this stand up. I'm pretty excited. I haven't driven this long distance, so uh, this should be pretty cool. Let's go. Okay, so I'm at the halfway point, made it up to five kilometers. It shows on my little GPS. It says we're at 5.13 kilometers. So my thoughts so far, you can either use a lot of effort or very little effort. I kept the speed at about 30 kilometers per hour average and I kept it in six gear. You can see I'm in six gear over here. I just leave it in that right up there. It's in six gear and it seems to work out well. And all I do is I just uh, change the assistance from like one, two, three, four, five. And of course, the more of the assistance I get, the faster I go and the less effort I have to pedal. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's go do the other half of the trip, which is another five kilometers. And that will give us a total of 10 kilometers, which is about, I think it's about six miles. Here we go.
All right, down here we see our total, which was 10 kilometers, 0.36. That was my first long ride with this bike, and I do have some thoughts. First thought is, it's really solidly built right out of the box. I haven't adjusted any of the gears. I haven't adjusted the brakes. I haven't adjusted anything. I just put the front wheel on and it works perfectly. The gearing's really good. Other thing I noticed is since it is a fat bike with these fat tires, the ride is extremely soft. It is a very soft ride. When I would bang into curves, you know, going over bumps or up curbs and stuff like that, uh, it just makes that like there's balloon tires. That's what it feels like. It goes boing, a little boingy thing and you're up over the curve so i'm looking forward to taking this off-road on dirt trails and uh, dirt roads and see how it handles and the last thing i want to show you is how much battery power is left it was fully charged before i left with all the driving i did and it's still fully charged check this out so that ride did not even put a dent into the amount of battery power that's remaining now as i mentioned at the beginning of this video this is one of the few electric bikes that you can drive on pavement concrete gravel sand i'm talking beach sand snow you can drive it through snow there's lots of videos online where people drive this over snow to go ice fishing and everything else i took it out on the trails as well as the beach and i had a drone chasing me and uh, well here's the video check it out now if you want to transport the electric bike you can see it fits in a pickup truck my pickup truck is a jeep gladiator and it has a five foot bed and if i move around this way you could see that it fits in it if you put it in such a position Putting the battery in is pretty darn simple. Just place the bottom into the electrical pegs that I see down there, and then just push it sideways, it locks, pull the key out so that you have the key. It's a bit windy out here. I have my Skydio over there and I can control it with my cell phone. I can also see that I have my gear set on number four from the last time I rode it. So I'm gonna put my assistance to level three because of the dirt and I'm going to reduce that down to gear number two as soon as we start get moving. What's it say? Hold down to launch. Here we go. Here we go. Now make sure it finds me. All set to go. As soon as I start pedaling, the assistance will kick in. Here it is. The assistance is kicking in. <laughs> Look at me go through the dirt. No problem. Now if you stop pedaling, there's no more assistance. You'll just glide. So as you pedal, you have assistance. This is pretty cool. I might have to lower uh, the speed here because it's too fast for the dirt. Hang on a sec. There we go. I'm down into second speed now. So it's a little bit better. I'm gonna put the assistance down because I've got it too much for the speed I'm going. So here we go. I'm gonna turn around in the dirt here and try not to wipe out. Going through beach sand. <laughs> Barely pedaling. So I'm gonna put the assistance even less because it's, it's just too much for me. There we go. Now I'm getting a little bit of a workout. This is more like it. For a guy like me who cycles all the time, I want a bit of a workout and this is perfect right now. So I have it on assistance level one in gear number two, driving in sand. And I'm going against the wind, so I'm getting a bit of a workout, which is nice. All right, I'm gonna go and turn left right here because I see dogs up ahead. So I'm already on assistance level one. And it is nothing to drive through this sand. Put it assistance two now, because I'm going uphill. So assistance level two to get up this little hill. A little dirt, no problem. This is awesome. Okay, back to assistance level one. I will say, anybody who gets this bike, like an electric fat bike, my God, the potential, the things you can do with it. I'm still getting a workout at the same time with the assistance level. Uh, it's not so bad. I can drive for longer. I don't have to like, only do 10 kilometers or six miles and then take a break. I can just keep on going. You know, the drone's got to get around that. Back through the trees. I'm going to take it up to assistance level two. A little bit of speed. <laughs> See if the drone can keep up with all these trees. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm only in gear number two. If I go up, now I'm going even faster. Third gear and no problems whatsoever. I'm down by the water now. <laughs> Do some fish tailing here. Just cruising along the water. <laughs> oh, I see some little kids up ahead, so I can't keep going straight. I'm gonna have to turn. Go this way, over here. Coming up this hill, going fast. Cruising. <laughs> this thing keeping up with me. This whole time of I've only been on assistance level two, 
going through the sand and everything. That's how insane it is. For a guy like me, very little assistance required to push myself through the sand, uh, the hills, everything else. So really, really good. All right, people up ahead, I gotta turn off this pathway again. And we're gonna go this way. I can try to bomb across this beach sand here. Let me see, let me, let me give me some assistance level here. Plus, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Assistance level, level's cranked up, going across. Assistance level is cranked up, <laughs> going across the sand. Yeah, drive through some nice, nice leaves here. Gotta love the fall weather. So where I'm going now is just to find some trails in the woods. I know that we have some trails around here. All right, I'm gonna change the speed, put it on two, and I'm on assistance level one. That's too much, I'm gonna have to put it down to uh, one. So this is pretty interesting here. I'm driving through a trail in the woods. I have it on speed number two, so gear two, and I have assistance zero. There's no assistance. So this way here, I get a bit of a workout, but it's actually quite rideable. I thought going through the woods, it would be difficult, but now it rides like a uh, fat bike as if you're going through mud or snow or <laughs> sand or anything like that. It just keeps on going. All right, got some obstacles there. Let's get around that. <laughs> pretty cool so now I could definitely use some assistance so let's put it on one there we go oh, I needed some assistance there to get through that all right so I'm gonna leave it on assistance level one but I'm gonna have to feather the brakes every now and then or stop pedaling because it gives you a lot of assistance even on level one like if I was riding with somebody through the woods right now I think I'd want to be in front because it's easy for me to accelerate uh, over everything you know there's no no, no obstacle that's gonna slow me down yeah I think this is pretty cool I have no idea where this trail leads, but it is by the water, which is very nice and pretty. It's nice going through these paths in the fall weather. It's very invigorating. Look at all the leaves. So nice. Now, the great thing about this bike is it is waterproof as well. I'm just going to pick up the gears here, put it up into gear number five and add a little bit of assistance there. Assistance number two, gear number five. Yeah, it's waterproof, so if you're driving out in the rain on a rainy day or through water puddles or anything like that, it's good. When I say waterproof, I don't mean dunk it at the bottom of the ocean. Got to make it through this little section. There we are. And then here we go up this hill. Go back to my Jeep and I'm going to reload it into the Jeep. There we go. So now that I'm finished the ride, I'm just checking around for anything that's loose because there was lots of bumping going on. So the fenders, you know, the fenders are pretty much optional. So you can take them off or leave them on. If you take them off, it looks more like a fat bike. Seats nice and tight. Wheels locked in still. Gearing's good. Pedals not loose. There's not much to come loose. All aluminum body frame, all good over here handlebars all of this is good and on the front we have the front fender over here and that's all nice and tight and the headlight solid and the shocks look good so uh everything looks a-okay now one of the greatest piece of kit that's included with this bike besides this hat is this toolkit take this toolkit with you wherever you go and if anything comes loose you can tighten it with this let me show you it close so you can see here it's made out of wood and metal but it's got everything you want all the allen key settings pretty much everything you need for the tools and even this portion here opens up and you can see you have a ratchet set in there it is really good all right so quickly i'm going to show you some video shots as i go from the rear to the front pointing out all the cool stuff on this bike so back here we have our back tire i'll put below what the size of this tire is what size of the rim is and the spokes and all that good stuff we have our seven speed down there we have our shimano system it says it's an altus coming up we have our rear fender you can take this off and it feels like it's made out of it's not metal it's like a hard plastic so you're not going to dent it or anything then up here you have your bike rack and the bike rack does have a nice piece of wood on it that's actually real wood which is very nice you do have a brake light and a tail light in the back that you can turn on at night the seat is really good it's soft and comfy you can adjust it you have a little switch here that you can pull up when my wife rides this it's like way down here but uh, at least their feet can touch the ground. And speaking of height, the specs say that a person weighing 350 pounds or less can ride this, and they should not be shorter than five feet, two inches, or taller than six feet, 
two inches. Coming up the front, we have a quality chain and we actually have aluminum pedals, which is something I'm not used to because a lot of bikes I buy, this section here is usually plastic as well as a pedal. It's all aluminum, one whole unit. It's very good. Next, we have our battery. It's 48 volts. It's a 500 watt up to peak power of 750 watt, I believe, which is quite a bit. And as you've seen in the videos, the battery is removable. Then we come to the front. We have our shock system and it's ABS. It says on it, you do have a preload dampening system. It's all adjustable here. Just turn these dials, adjust it to your weight and how much uh, shock absorbency you want going over bumps or whatnot. It's just like a normal fat bike with shocks. You get your big fat tire in the front. This here fender is removable just like the back one and it is made out of a type of plastic. You have your headlight up front. It is quite bright so if you're riding on the trails at night it's really good for that. You do have a brake light too. When you pull these little uh, brakes uh, the light will get brighter as a brake light. Pull one of your brakes front or back. I just want to make sure the light work comes on. Yes, it does. Push it again. There we are. Then finally coming up to the handlebars over here. I've already installed the mirror. That's what I got off of Amazon. You have your brakes. They're all made out of aluminum. You have your bell. You have your whole electronic system here that controls all the information on your display. You have the display. You have an information button here that you can change the information so you can look at how far you went, uh, what's your average speed, top speed, and all sorts of other things like odometer and all these other things. Just pressing that info button will run through everything. You can reset it all. I've put a cell phone holder on mine because you can charge your cell phone. So if you put a cell phone in here, you plug it into the display unit and it charges your cell phone so you can drive to work and never worry about your cell phone going dead and listen to music through your ear pods or whatever. Then you have your Shimano seven speed system over here. Another aluminum handbrake. These uh, little grips that you put your hands on. It almost looks like they're made out of leather, but I'm sure it's not leather. Although it does look like leather. It's a really nice material. And then of course you have your twist throttle, which is really good. I do have this sheet here it's a specification sheet good thing i have this sheet because i forgot to mention that the mechanical disc brakes you have disc brakes front and rear they are 180 millimeter disc brakes another thing i forgot to mention is the weight of this baby it's 72 pounds for a guy like me i'm not very big i'm only five feet uh, eight inches or whatever and i'm only i don't weigh very much but uh, i don't find this heavy at all all right i don't think i missed anything else so how about i show you me putting this bike together taking it out of the box and putting it together check this out here we have the large box. The Hemiway Cruiser comes in. It is very well packaged inside. No worries of damage. There is protective material around many of the components that you'll have to remove before assembly. You do receive a box of accessories, which includes an instruction manual and a Hemiway hat, as well as bike pedals, a headlight, wheel retainer, multifunction tool, charging unit. Bike assembly is as simple as bolting on the handlebars, locking the front wheel in place, screwing on the pedals, attaching the rear rack, and finally adding air to the tires. As far as the battery is concerned, it already comes almost fully charged so you can head out and take your first ride the same day. All right, so final thoughts. I am a believer in electric bikes now. I used to think electric bikes were for overweight people that had no ability to cycle, but honestly, if I had to drive this to my place of work, which is about 20 miles away, this is what I would take over my cycle bikes, which I normally ride all the time because when I get to work, you know, I'm kind of tired and sweaty. And when I have to go home and it's like not a very nice day and there's lots of wind, uh, I, I, I really don't look forward to it. But on something like this, adjust the assistance so that I don't have to sweat so much. And then when I ride home, I can have an enjoyable ride. And uh, yeah, so this, this is definitely a commuter bike. And the fact you can drive it all year long in Canada in the winter, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So links to this are below. It's currently on sale. There's a good deal on it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions on this bike, post them below and I will get back to you. All the links to where you can find this are below this video. If you want to watch other reviews besides mine to see what other people think about this, then I highly suggest go check out their reviews as well. And I'm sure they'll be just as excited and positive as mine. All right, guys, catch you in the next video. Bye.